We need to talk about the delusion of HR. And if you think you are suffering as an employee, let's look at how much HR is suffering. It turns out that 98% of HR professionals are burned out, which is ironic because the very same pizza party and donut Friday that they prescribed for their employees, well-being and happiness, doesn't seem to be working on them. But I tell you what burns HR out. Nobody is listening to them. And the reason nobody is listening to them is because they are keep doing the wrong thing. Employees don't trust them because they've been trying to please employees, but they can't. And employers don't trust them either because we found that out during COVID when HR were really in trouble and employer CEOs did not trust their CHROs. The reason of the burnout is the identity confusion because the delusion that they are in charge of the workforce is just driving them burned out. The sooner they realize that they are not in charge of the workforce, but they are in charge of the employees' experiences, the easier it gets for them. So hear me out. As in my previous videos, I mentioned many, many times, the HR as such doesn't exist. And HR is not charge, in charge of the workforce because managers are. But what HR is in charge of and what they need to start doing and what progressive companies, HR companies, uh, HR professionals started doing is looking after their employee experiences. So here it is. If you don't design your employees ex or policies and procedures and whatever you do and your practices, with employee experience in mind, you will never go anywhere. Everybody will keep disliking you. Sorry. So if you let's look at these seven areas, attract, hire, onboard, motivate or engage. Then you have um, perform, develop and depart. Now, when you are designing your employee experiences, and this is the activity and exercise I do as a consultant with HR companies or with companies along with HR, I take them through this journey and I ask, how do you want your employees to feel during the attraction? When you post a job advertisement, how do you want them to feel during your hiring process? How do you want them to feel during onboarding, etc., etc.? So we name those feelings and we use the same technique as we use in, host in the hospitality industry. How do we want our guests to feel when they arrive and we do everything accordingly? So this is what HR professionals job is. It's not to create another useless policy, it's not to throw another benefit that nobody is using and so they can report, oh, but we, and they even get a reward for it, but nobody is using, but to ask the questions, how do I want my employees to feel? And then reverse engineer and design everything accordingly. And if you do that, which I've done already many, many times with HR, uh, with small and mid-sized companies, you realize that you can throw away so much garbage that you have collected throughout the year and save so much money because employees don't need the clutter of benefits and uh, activities and events and celebration and one more leadership program and one more this. What they need is you to think about them when you are putting anything in place, not just doing it because Sharon from the other company down the road is doing it. I don't care as your employee what Sharon does over there. It's not working here. So think about your employees and you will be the best HR ever.